Barbers, it's time. It's time for you to start paying your taxes, guys. Let's go. Okay, guys, the days of not paying taxes and just, and just taking cash and putting it in your mattress, those days have been over a long time ago. This is why a lot of people don't take the barber industry serious. This is why when you go out and somebody asks you, what do you do for a living? You say, oh, I'm a barber. People just look at you and go, huh. you know, they, they take it as a joke. But the reality is barbers make a lot of money, guys. Barbers make money. And if you go to Google and you Google it, average salary of a barber in your state, it's most likely going to say like 19, 20,000, maybe 30,000 the most. But the truth is a lot of barbers out here really making 100 grand a year believe it or not and if you aren't and i'm sorry to hear that that means you have to raise your prices but there are a lot of barbers that are making a lot of money even working in shop thing is barbers take cash and like to stash it and put it away but i'm gonna tell you guys right now i learned my lesson a long time ago that if you want something you're gonna have to pay taxes and my accountant told me that a long time ago you know you have to pay taxes in order to get the house the car i mean nowadays people will give you a car if you just show a little bit of money they don't care they're throwing cars away but back when i was coming up you really had to have some type of credit history you had to have some, you know, they wanted bank statements. When you were buying a car back then, you were going to an official dealer. It was almost like you were walking and you were going to buy a house or something like that. That's how they that's how they took it. So back when I was younger and I wanted to uh, lease or finance a car, they took it really, really serious. And I couldn't just come in there with cash. So I knew a long time ago when I first started my career, I had to pay taxes. A lot of people didn't know that. Now, when I wanted a house, you know, I bought my first house as a barber, just a straight up barber, not as a businessman, but just a barber. You know, I bought my first house doing that. And the way I did that was I continued to stack my money and I actually paid taxes on it and I just basically went through it the hard way and that's just how it is you know people who buy houses that have jobs the reason why they're able to do it everything is structured a lot more easy for them so they could just go get a paycheck you know the the the, the company sets up to where the taxes are taking out their check every day the you know the the, the IRA or whatever investment they have is taking out their check every day and then they complain about it. they look at their check and say gosh they're taking out seven hundred dollars a week out of my check well they already have it nice and structured as a barber you get all the cash in your hand and you have to look at this money you got to say to yourself like do I pay taxes on this or do I just put this in my pocket? And that's the wrong move because if you want to grow, if you want to be successful, if you want to buy real estate, if you want to get into all these business ventures that we're seeing online nowadays, you're going to have to pay taxes. And I just wanted to give you guys this quick summary and give you guys this quick video. Start paying your taxes. I'm really out here to help you guys. Um, I'm, uh, Easy Blade is just all about just helping you guys. And we want you guys to be successful, not only to buy products from us like a lot of you guys do, but we want to make sure that you guys are, you know, growing as a business and this is what we've been doing for years this is the type of videos i've been making for years is teaching people how to grow and become successful so if you guys have any experience with taxes and you know how'd you guys do when you when you when you first started paying taxes how much taxes you guys paid leave a comment below and let our community know how much taxes you're actually paying how much, uh, on how much money you've been making and how's that going for you how you know what did it do for you what what did it take for you to get there you know what what happened when you started paying taxes did you feel like things grew for you or you feel like you had less money Money. like what changed for you know the days of like um hiding money and and, and and putting money in your mattress those days are over guys leave a comment below let us know what you think jay here from easy blade if you guys like these videos let us know what other type of videos you want to see leave a comment below don't be scared to talk and help out the community guys we're all about the barbers let us know what you want to see i will talk to you guys soon again jay here from easyblade shaving